Jamie, I'm from Change Up, and we are a retail um, restaurant branding agency. Uh, I think we heard a lot about change, so I was, you guys were all plugging us yesterday. Um, that's what we're passionate about, about bringing you know, really significant change to the brands that we work with. And um, Six Point is a great example of really, we're not gonna talk about you know, automation and some of the other things, but really how we bring brand experience to life. And we always say at Change Up, you know, uh, strong brands do have the power to um, win the hearts and minds of your customers, which then leads to growth and loyalty, which is something that we're all looking for. So I could talk a lot about change up, um, but I'm just going to show you a quick video of, you know, what we do and how we do it. Hold up. sneak peek in there. I'm going to turn it over to Gary to talk about Six Point. You know, why a tap room? Why now? Cool. Thank you. Uh, my name is Gary Bryant. I'm Executive Vice President with Artisanal Brewing Ventures. Uh, we own uh, four different craft beverage brands. Uh, Victory Brewing out of Philadelphia, PA. Uh, Southern Tier Brewing out of Lakewood, New York. Old Rock Hard Cider out of the mountains of North Carolina and Virginia and of course, Six Point Brewery out of Brooklyn, New York. Six Point was founded in 2004 in a small neighborhood of Red Hook in Brooklyn. Uh, it's essentially, it was essentially a cult brewery uh, on draft, or, or draft only, mysterious, cryptic. It was really uh, developed with the principles that, you know, beer is, you know, is what you would like for it to feel. What is it gonna look like? What is it gonna taste like? Uh, and really subsequently, uh, Six Point has become the second largest craft brewery in uh, the New York City metropolitan market. So basically, they did not have a consumer facing experience. Um, they, they had their brewing operation, but really people couldn't visit um, just for you know, releases and so, there was a lot of you know, pent up anticipation, I think, uh, to have a, an experience uh, for Six Point. And so as we approached this project, we looked at how do we create an experience um, that you know, further builds upon the brand by looking at first like where we show up, uh, which that can manifest in you know, the real estate choice, making sure that it's really relevant for the customer. Um, it, it, you know, in other projects, it, it can be just in some of your touch points how we show up, uh, which is all about you know, creating a very impactful and brand right experience, uh, which is what our passion is. And then finally, and I, we heard this yesterday, who we show up for. So it's all about that guest and make sure that, making sure that we you know, build that stronger connection with them, that we're making not only the right experience, but you know, forming community, uh, building that loyalty that I spoke to earlier and really understanding who they are and what they're looking for. Um, so Gary's gonna talk a little bit about you know, where we show up. I think we hear from a lot of you know, these large brands, like what, uh, how can we you know, bring localization to life? And I think for a craft brewer, it's almost like hyper localization. Mm -hmm. And so um, you know, there's, a, there's a whole list of things that you're looking for when you're you know, going through uh, selecting your site. Sure, and you know our tap rooms are brand building experiences, and that's always first and foremost in our mind. Um, our goal is to have you know the level of our hospitality 
food quality, environmental experience, you know, at the same high level of the standards that we have for both our beer and our cider brands. Um, to be an elite craft beverage company, you know, you have to win in your home markets. So we first start by saying we're, we've got to be in our home markets and we've got to be in adjacent territories to the home base of each brewery. Um, at a deeper level, you know, we really look at things that we feel are culturally relevant in each marketplace, uh, hopefully, you know, convenient to uh, major sports teams, tourist attractions, concert venues, mm -hmm. things of that, of that nature. Next slide is now that I've told you kind of what we look for, this is everything that we sometimes ignore and we still choose a site uh, in this location which uh, is a location that we opened in Brooklyn in October mm -hmm. that we challenged uh, Change Up to help us. This was our first taproom experience for the Six Point brand. Uh, we've got another one that's opening in uh, at 200 Liberty right across from World Trade Center Park, uh, probably hopefully the end of this year mm -hmm. that we'll talk about in a few minutes as well. But you know, this was a second generation space uh, that was presented to us in a multi-tenanted retail facility uh, that has Trader Joe's, um, Target, uh, Alamo Cinema, Lululemon, and a variety of others. And so the challenge was for us, it was a obviously a low investment because it was a second generation space, but how do we take this space and bring the Six Point brand to life? Yeah, yeah, so um, what Gary didn't mention, where we're located is actually on a lower level of the shopping area, and what you don't see in this uh, image is uh, there's a food hall, so there's a lot of noise that's happening. So as we looked at the exterior, we just needed to be pretty much simple, bold. That kind of short wall that you see there is uh, the main as you're coming down the escalator. And so we you know, maximize the space using the six point branding and using that star to really wrap you around and, and take you into the space. And then there's another entrance from closer to Trader Joe's. So again, just simple, bold branding uh, to, to draw you into the space and really anchor um, one of the, the walls. So getting into how, uh, so this is really, how do we bring those, those brand vibes into the space and I'll apologize a little bit, um, maybe not so much, but from where we went on Sunday. So there's a lot of, I think similar to the, the QSR, there's a lot of tropes that we see out there, um, copy and pasting, and uh, we see that very much in the you know, tap rooms and in breweries. And you get the, the long wooden tables, the picnic tables, uh, the kind of industrial feel, the, you know, stainless, there are no goats in this particular image. So <laughs> they had that going for them. But, you know, obviously looking at this, you would have no idea what brewery this is. And so we really needed for a brand like Six Point, uh, as Gary mentioned, they were very much about rejecting the norms in how they come up with the beer. It's, you know, less about, you know, deciding if it is an IPA, but figuring out what that flavor profile is and then just using art and kind of science to get there. And so that shows up also in how, you know, the cans come to life. And so as we got into the space, um, we didn't really edit a lot of, you know, the colors and, and really used a lot of pattern and texture to bring about that kind of brand vibe. So I think a lot of people that we've, we've spoke to have just, you come in and you just know it's six point and we actually are not, we don't have a, a six point logo within the space. Instead, it is about the feeling you get. Again, because it's in a lower level, we really don't have any natural light. As Gary mentioned, uh, ideally some of the things we're looking for is like an outdoor beer garden. Uh, instead, you know, it's a little faking it, but we have this kind of lush greenery, but it helps to provide some different moments so you just don't get that kind of sea of tables. Uh, and it, it, it is a place that you can kind of come and stay for a little bit longer. Uh, again, looking at seating, not using that kind of line of, of picnic tables, but having a variety of seating for different occasions, these little nooks, and then kind of your nods to Brooklyn and some of the framed artwork. And then of course, uh, if you're not familiar with Six Point, they have the, the Six Point skeleton, so having that great kind of selfie moment on the end. And I think what's really interesting is, you know, having the big, bold visuals, but uh, inserting your brand at those uh, smaller, at those detail moments, and so these, 
uh, you know, as you're approaching it, these kind of weird, wonderful uh, wall lights, uh, the beer hops that you see that are hanging, and then, you know, peppering in some of that six point, some of their uh, skeletons throughout in some of the retail space as well. Um, so the last section is just around this idea of who, uh, who your customer is, and uh, I think what Gary had mentioned earlier is they do view themselves as more than a beer brand. Oftentimes that is what's drawing people into their experiences, but they're always surprised by, you know, definitely the experience. The food is pretty phenomenal. I feel like you're was it the pepper don't preach burger is getting oh, yeah. all the rave. They're like, it's the best <laughs> burger in, in Brooklyn. And, um, and, and so it's really figuring out how we leave that kind of stickiness with our, our customer and get them to come back and to have multiple visits. So as right before we launched City Point, that location, uh, you guys hosted a, a, an art show that was at the Dumbo Archway um, you know, iconic area in Brooklyn. And they you know, challenged all the local artists of what does beer is culture, which is really the, the motto by what they stand for, what does that mean to you? And the, the winner of the art show had their artwork featured on a limited release can, and then that was then released into City Point when they opened up. So a great moment to just get some engagement from the community. Since then, they've also been, uh, they have a weekly events like these paint and sips. Mm -hmm. And so again, trying to find other reasons for people to come in, not just to um, you know, have a, a drink or, or have a meal, but to really have, build some of that community. And then we partnered with a local Brooklyn artist as well to the, the only two picnic tables that we have. There's no wood showing, but uh, to give a little bit of the local flair and uh, a great conversation piece and just, again, connect back with that kind of art and, and music um, uh, community. And then I think, you know, a lot of times when we're thinking about, you know, connecting with a customer, we think at a visual or events or how do we engage them, but in this particular instance, it's also in some of just how you're laying out the space and making sure that we're thinking about that the area that we're in, you know, where we're located is, you know, are we going to have people coming in on their, their lunchtime, uh, after work, drinks, weekends, and so looking at how we're, you know, creating that seating arrangement, I, you know, I know a lot of times when we work with Starbucks that that is their idea of like kind of localization of just making sure that we've accommodated for, for our guest. And then I think the final piece for, for them especially, pretty much any time we're partnering with ABV, we look at um, a retail space. So this is like a, it's a, you know, tap room, restaurant, retail space, all in one. Beer store. <clears throat> Beer store. Yeah. So it's that opportunity to take the brand with you. Um, again, a lot of times these are located in more tourists or, um, or really just, you know, also capturing kind of the local, you know, vibe. So you can uh, buy some swag, gift it to somebody else. A lot of limited releases are happening there. So you can grab mm -hmm. a six point at, or six point six pack. It's hard to say, and and take it home with you as well. And we've we've um, definitely heard just a, a tremendous response. We uh, it, it's hitting all the things <clears throat> people know that you know the where uh, how we're showing up. I, again, people are coming for the beer, and they're very much uh, taken aback. I think a little bit that a beer company is really bringing about this kind of experience and the food quality and everything. And um, we're excited. As Gary mentioned, that opened, uh, City Point opened up in October of last year. Correct. And we have a new location that is going to be opening up in Manhattan, financial district, you know, views across to the Oculus. So we're really excited. Definitely ticks more of the boxes of what you're looking for in yeah. a site. We get this really great outdoor space that's right in the heart of the city, place to escape to. And I think what's <clears throat> interesting, we heard it yesterday from you know, Torchy Tacos as well, is that for a brand like Six Point, again, it's not cookie cutter. So you definitely still get that Six Point vibe, but how we're showing up in, you know, for that financial district, for that clientele, where it is, it's a little bit more elevated, um, but still has some of that grit and that rawness that is really important for the Six Point brand. 
So we're excited later this year, coming soon, um, will be our, our next location. So Very exciting. Yeah. Wonderful. Gary and Jamie, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.